Copper's role in modern technology and electronic infrastructure has increased global consumption to above 25 million metric tons per year. The metal is now the third most used after iron and aluminum. Much of the demand is driven by electric vehicles, renewable energy, and AI-driven data centers. The price, though, has been wildly volatile in 2025. New 50% U.S. tariffs announced on July 8th had pushed copper prices to record highs, including a 13% jump in one day, driven by fears of a supply disruption. But on July 30th, the tariff policy was amended to exclude certain types of copper, and it sent the price down almost 25%. Worldwide, the demand for copper remains robust because EVs and renewable energy products use more copper than older technologies. For example, an EV uses three to four times as much copper as a gasoline-powered car. Global copper demand for clean energy and electrification is projected to double by 2050, while supply growth could be much slower. New mines can take decades to come online, and existing mines in places like the Congo often face disruptions from government instability. China consumes over half of the world's copper, but its weaker property market may slow demand, although government stimulus could partially offset this. In the second half of 2025, copper could continue to experience wild price swings due to tariffs and supply issues. Long term, though, copper demand is strong, and the energy transition and AI appear to be durable themes, but supply will struggle to keep up, creating uncertainty and some price risks.